All right, so upbeat hip hop wants to know how much I bench press now, and do I think 315 is uh, feasible? And I guess I'll just talk about it. I mean, my one rep max, I can do 245, and I'll say you doing two reps 225 is really good, man. I would I would keep it up, and if you really want to move on just eat more and keep training because that's how it's gonna work you know eat a lot of protein eat a lot of good carbs so you have the energy to lift more and it'll it'll improve i mean it's not gonna take a day it's gonna take a bit it takes time and consistency to to um see results and you want to increase your bench or squat or deadlift you just gotta go on a strength program like a simple 5v5 which means five cents of five reps of like say like like 50 or 60 percent of your max and you just keep doing that start from there and if it gets easy you move up by five pounds you know it's a process it's it takes a while and it takes a lot of patience, you know what I mean, and I think that 315 can be feasible, but I think that kind of comes with genetics, like, I don't think I'll ever get to 315, that takes a lot of time, and the only way I can do that is if I eat a shit ton, I gain a whole bunch of weight, and go on a really good strength program, or I take some steroids or something, because a lot of people that claim to be natural are really not, and they say they can bench this and that natural, and really, they might be taking something, and a lot of them aren't honest with that, you know, and, yeah, it takes, it takes time to move up in strength, it takes a lot of discipline, it really, it really, it, it's really, like, how you want it to be, man, it's, it's hard work, you know, <laughs> some people have the genetics to do it naturally right i i my pet for me like it's 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 kind of hard because i don't have the genetics to lift that much like it's maybe it's possible if i can move up another 20 pounds but 315 is kind of hard but i used to be able to back when i was dirty bulking and all that i was squatting 330 for a rep but i don't know how grave a form that was but that was pretty impressive to me and I stopped there because I didn't think I needed to do more you know right so I say if you want to increase your bench just keep benching bench more like two, if you're benching only one time a week bench two or three times a week do more high volume some days where you do more reps and less sets and then some days just do more sets and reps where you do strength training like three reps of like say 80 percent of your max or something so if you if your max is like 235 which is what i'm guessing do probably 185 for five sets of five see how that goes right and then go from there if that gets too easy move it up a bit if it gets too hard lower it down there's nothing nothing wrong with like lowering down weight if you can't lift it right because it's a process it's it takes a while so um it just depends on when your goals are if you want to get stronger at the gym you got to eat more you got to be consistent with benching or lifting in general if you want a physique you just got to be at a calorie deficit and you got to you gotta track your eating you really gotta track your proteins you gotta track uh, depending if you want to be a bodybuilder you gotta track everything you gotta track carbs and fats but if you just want to look good and aesthetic just track protein and just track your calories and that's how I did it like I I did that and my brother helped me with it because he's kind of a personal trainer himself and I went from 220 to 165 in like four or five months 
And I would say if you're cutting too, just do more cardio. It'll be easier instead of lowering the food. Like say if you're on a plateau losing weight and you're eating the right amount of cal calories, you gotta work out more. Sometimes you gotta do more cardio. You know, cardio is, is your friend too. Cardio can actually help you, you know. And obviously when you're, you're cutting, you're gonna lose some muscle, but you're gonna lose fat at the same time. So like, it's a win-win, you know what I mean? Um, but if you wanna go strength train, you wanna like be strong, eat at a surplus, um, work out the muscles more that you wanna be stronger at, and you'll, you'll get up there, you know? That's, it takes time, it's, you actually get results compared to like working at a job and they say oh you fucking you'll be this guy in two years and you don't you know but fitness you actually get a result and you're consistent and you work hard at it so we'll catch you guys with another one